betting uh, the not so much uh, anymore is more down to my own fault. Uh, I need to uh, I need to get studying again to to get the edge back. But yeah, it's a great product. I love the exchange. It's uh, it's really it's uh, in my opinion one of the better bookmakers, if not the best bookmaker out there. Race number two, which is dual for 1300 hours. This will be the opening leg of the place accumulator at Hollywood Bets Gravel on the poly track. And this time they'll stretch them up to the mile. The first race over 1400, the second race over 1600 meters. The time to get your place accumulators on will be one o'clock. Looking at the current favourite, that's number three, Brave Voyager. Bearing in mind that this show is recorded the day before, early doors. So on the official race day, which will be Wednesday the 7th of February at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Once the final scratchings and everything are up to date, keep a close eye on those changes. But number three, Brave Voyager, currently 22 to 10. Number five, Circle of Grace at 5 to 2. Number six, few dollars more, three to one in a congested market up front. My first selection, number one, Time Taker, currently trading at seven to one. And then number two, Brotherhood of Magic at eight to one with number four, Shotgun Willie. Number seven, Farland, 10 to one. And we all know Farland, on his day, he's more than capable. So there could be a few spanners in the work in race number two. I'm going to touch on number one, Time Taker. It has been 878 days around about since his last taste of victory. He's yet to win on the poly, but I just believe he's come down from an 87 to a 65. And the 1600 meters could suit him down to the ground these days. If you look at his penultimate run, fourth behind Pongola, made up some good late headway. A couple of winners from that form line. And with 53 and a half on his back, Watching his last replay from a wide draw, he traveled a little bit strong for the first 200 meters, and then he settled in, but he faded out of contention. So Devon, for me, number one time taker. He has really taken his time, but I believe he's the horse who's got the ability to win this race, and with the four kgs off the back and the best of the draw, he can be placed exactly where the rider wants him to be. Yes, 100% correct. Uh, the apprentice taking the four kgs off the back is a massive advantage for this individual. Another massive plus is he's got a plum draw of one, and you do know how important the draws are here at Hollywood Bets Gravel on the poly track. So throw number one time taker into all your bets at around about seven to one. Sheldon, I quite like number three, Brave Voyager, that's currently trading at around about five to two in the fixed odds betting market. This one does have a handy weight there. Rachel Vinegar is going to take the one and a half kgs off the back. If you go back three runs on the 22nd of November, ran 1.4 lengths behind all the time. I thought that was a cracking effort. My original first selection was number six, few dollars more. And then after I had a good look at the reruns and looked at the collateral form, I'm going to lean towards number three, Brave Voyager. But for trifectas and quartets, I'll include number six, few dollars and more. And a very interesting runner for me is number seven, uh, Farland, that's currently trading at about 10 to one. It's a small and compact field, so it'll be very interesting to see how they actually run this race, because this horse is very capable of getting to the front and can stay there if everything goes well. But narrow first selection for me, number three, Brave Voyager. Yes, I've got to agree, number seven, Farland. For the guys who've watched the previews over the last two years, we've been following Farland. We found him in the placings on a couple of occasions at big prices. He's a horse who's coming towards the end of his career, but once upon a time, he did run around about five lengths behind Do It Again. If he jumps, which he has been doing of late, and he brings his A game to the track, I would not be surprised to see number seven, Farland, win a race of this nature. Touched on number three, Brave Voyager, ran second to Sundance Kid. So the Sundance Kid form line will be scrutinized closely because Sundance Kid runs later on in the day and was expected to win on that occasion. And then the rest of the horses have been mentioned. So for me, number one, Time Taker. And then three, Brave Voyager for Devon. And number seven, Farland. If he decides to run, they'll all be running for second. But it's going to be the day. We will only wait and see on the race day. That's Race number two, over 1,600 meters.
Hi, it's Donovan Everture from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Readers in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pearl Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year.